Now if we take this expression and we let x be 3, replace um, x with a 3. Well, let's see, this is going to equal, and I'm going to have to replace this x with a 3. So put a 3 right here for this x, put it here, and then another 3 down here. Okay? Now this is going to give you 6 for the top. You're going to have a fraction here with 6. 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 minus 3 is what? 0. But we know that this cannot be 0 because if it is, this is not defined, okay? So the bottom, the denominator cannot be 0, okay? Cannot be 0, so x cannot be 3, all right? Now, um, let's take this expression right here and find out when is this not defined, okay? Undefined or not defined. That's when this bottom here is 0. So what we're going to do, we're going to set the denominator. Forget, what, forget the numerator now. Just take the bottom part of this, 8x minus 16, and set it equal to 0, and that would make this undefined, because we'd have b minus 8 over 0, okay? Now, so we have to solve this. We have to solve this equation. So here's my new problem now. I'm going to solve this, copy it down, and we're going to add 16 here and here, add it to both sides. We'll get 8b here. This cancels. We, it equals 16. And then when we divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient of the variable, our variables b, the coefficient, is the h. So I'm going to divide this side and this side by 8. Divide 8b by 8 and divide 16 by 8. We're going to get b then is 2. So when b is 2, okay, so we have a solution set with 2. And when b is 2, you're going to have 8 times 2 is 16 minus 16 is 0. And that will make this not defined here, okay? So um, the number for which the rational expression is not defined is 2.